Saturday night brings you the Acme News with your news anchor, Joseph Limbaugh. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Acme News. Our top story tonight, the president was attacked by the press for his controversial statement that the police unfairly target minorities. This looks to be much worse than his early extremely controversial statements that the American health care kind of sucks and that he is an American citizen. <laughs> the Chinese made a scientific breakthrough this week by being the first to reprogram stem cells to clone mice. The mice appear to be healthy and normal, although they wanted to be cloned again an hour later. In sports news, the United States won this week over Honduras in the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Yeah. Sending them for a chance to win the title. But who cares, it's soccer. In entertainment news, thousands of nerds are gathering in San Diego for the 40th... <laughs> nerd fans here tonight <laughs> at the Comic-Con. This will make this the largest convention on record where no one will get laid. <laughs> In technology news, the new Palm Pre surprised tech aficionados by including the ability to sync with Apple's iTunes software. This functionality was rapidly removed by a software update from Apple, who released the following statement. Na 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 na, I'm taking my ball and going home. <laughs> Speaking of taking a ball and going home, it looks like Lance Armstrong won't be winning the Tour de France this year. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. Who made that graphic? Uh, you did just make it. <laughs> All right, uh, in international news. The country of Kyrgyzstan has come under international scrutiny for election irregularities. Sweden, the president of the European Union, expressed concern over these irregularities and dismay over the lack of vowels in the country's name. <laughs> the Canadian Train Engineers Union is striking this week, sending tens of thousands of travelers to find alternative transportation. But who cares? It's in Canada. Oh, don't make fun of Canada. We love Canada. Man. It's just news, people. Also in international news, the International Monetary Fund approved a $2.6 billion loan for Sri Lanka to support its economy during the global downturn. Skeptics of, of the choice are concerned the country will blow all the money on a gaudy hat. And finally, in Canadian soccer news, you know what, never mind. I'm Joseph Limbaugh, this is Benny Acton News.